Water. It sustains all life and is one of our most precious resources. So it's important to know how to manage it, especially in your landscape where you probably spend at least half of your monthly water bill. But we have some very exciting news. The EPA, Smart Approved Watermark, and the Irrigation Association have teamed together with manufacturers to give people everywhere smart technology to conserve water and still create a healthy landscape. We're here to help explain how this technology works. Let's start by asking the all-important question. How much water does it really take to maintain a healthy landscape? The answer is found in a simple understanding that your landscape has two important parts, above the soil surface and below the soil surface. Some plants, like turf grass, need lots of water. Other plants, like lavender, are very water efficient and need relatively little water. As the weather changes, so does the amount of water your landscape uses. Weather can be unique even with a given landscape. Some areas get full direct sunlight, while others may get full shade. The plants in the full sunlight may use twice as much water as the plants in full shade. Based on the plant type and location of the plant in the sun or shade, as well as weather factors such as sunshine, temperature, humidity, and wind, smart controllers adjust the watering schedule throughout the season to match actual plant water use. So what's happening below the soil surface? Water and nutrients are drawn into the plant through the roots. Some plants have shallow roots, while others have deep roots. The secret of smart watering is to water only where roots are actively removing water from the soil. Each type of soil has a different amount of water available to the plants. Sandy soils are made of large particles and holds relatively little water. Clay soils are made of fine particles and hold more water. Loam soils are large and small particles and hold the most water. Adding organic matter to the soil is a smart way to increase the water available to the plants. As plants use the water, soil moisture decreases. As soil moisture decreases, it becomes harder for roots to draw water from the soil. This is where a smart controller really makes a big difference by ensuring there is always enough moisture for the plants to stay healthy. Different types of sprinklers apply water at different rates, and that results in different run times. For example, spray heads can fill a root zone in as little as 10 minutes, while rotors might take 30 minutes or more to fill the same root zone, rotators even longer, and drip may take the longest of all. A quick catch cup test will tell you the water application rate for each zone. Because application rate is specific to design and equipment, conducting this simple test might be the single most important thing you do to save water and ensure healthy plants. Application rate measures how fast water is applied. Think of the soil like a sponge that is holding all the water it can. If you apply too much water too fast, it'll drip from the bottom and run off the surface. If you apply too little water too slowly, the sponge will eventually dry out. Just like the sponge, if too much water is applied too quickly to certain types of soils, puddling, runoff, and other waste may occur. If there's a slope in the landscape, runoff can be even more of a problem. Smart controllers fix this problem by calculating how quickly water is being applied and how quickly the soil is able to absorb water, even on a slope, and then break run times into multiple segments, with times in between to allow water to soak in. This makes every drop count. Different kinds of soils absorb moisture at different rates. Smart controllers automatically adjust the run times based on the soil type. Sandy soil might have a single run time. Loam could have two run times. Clay with its fine particles, three run times. And a slope may even have four or more run times to allow the water time to fully soak in without puddling or runoff. But wait, there's more! Smart controllers keep track of weather forecasts too. When rain is expected, the controller will wait to water until the rain is stopped. Then the controller recalculates the soil moisture and makes every drop count by waiting to begin watering again until water is actually needed. Now that's smart! Now you know the secrets to smart watering. By asking just a few questions, plant type, sun shade, soil type, sprinkler type, and slope, Smart controllers know just how often and how long to water, and most importantly, when not to water. 
Millions of happy customers and landscapes attest to the fact that this really is the smartest way to conserve water and still create a healthy landscape. So what should you do? Look for the WaterSense Smart Approved Watermark or SWAT labels and start watering smart today.